plus primer for lacuna part one the creation of the mystery and the girl from blue city oh, it's a long name for a game it's by jared Sorensen of memento mori theatrics i'm broken and i'm dr tom the frog you know when you sit down to play a new game the gm has to do a little song and dance pitch and then it gets into the basic rules just enough so you aren't lost when you start playing and then you get to the action finally well, our hope is to create a video that could stand in for that opening, so anyone new to the game can watch in advance, say some time at the table for snacks or smoke breaks or what have you. Anyway, this is the primer for Lacuna Part 1. Because I'm going to call it Part 1, because all the other stuff is too much to say. So Lacuna Part 1, like it. In Lacuna Part 1, you play a mystery agent working for the company. You and your fellow mystery agents will be sent to a place called Blue City, where you'll get to complete missions until your mind or your heart take so much damage that you either eject back to the real world, or die on the slab. Everyone starts the game by assigning points to their three attributes, which are as follows. Force, which covers physical activity in the Blue City, like fighting and moving. Instinct, which is how you perceive Blue City, like reactions and intuitions, and access. Access defines your ability, uh, your agent's ability, not yours, your agent's ability to requisition material and info from Control, who sits back in the real world while you're on a mission, smoking or watching YouTube. After you pick your attributes, you'll choose your talent, which is something you're uniquely suited for. And it gives you a bonus under one of your attributes when you roll dice. Talents cover something more specific under that attribute, like investigation under instinct, or aggression under force. Yeah, that's what I like, baby. If after you roll dice, you don't make the roll, you can use your talent to add another die to the total. Next, you roll dice and consult a few tables to determine your character's pseudonym, aka their codename, plus your mystery agent's mentor, who might still be alive, or could be MIA. And that's the person, the mentors, the person who taught you a technique to start. Techniques are special abilities like feats or whatever. They let you cheat the system a bit. And they range from having a fake ID in Blue City to being able to lower your heart rate. After you have your name, you'll need to know how old you are. Roll on the next table for your agent's age, which will tell you what their target heart rate and their maximum heart rate is. Notice all this talk about heart rate? Let's get into that part now. Lacuna Part 1 uses a unique system of die pools of six-siders against a fixed difficulty number. That's 11. Each time that you roll dice, the result adds to your heart rate. As your heart rate rises, things get more risky. Let's walk through building a die pool for an action. First, you say what you want to do, and Control, that's the GM, will tell you which attribute works. Let's say you're chasing someone. Control says it's a force action to chase them. You have a force of two, so you roll two six-siders. Now lucky you, you have athletics as a talent. Hoo-hoo. So if you want, you can add a third die for that. You roll all the dice and add up the results, trying to meet or beat an 11. If you fail at a risky action, like combat, high-speed chases are falling, then your force or instinct attribute will be reduced by a die. But you get a chance to re-roll after you add them up and see you didn't hit 11. You're kind of cheating fate by doing this, but hey, it's better than looking like a wuss, right? Be warned, the total you just rolled is still added to your heart rate, and control will make note of it. But you can push and re-roll again if you like. It won't get you your lost attribute rating back, but you can still pull off your action and look awesome. And uh, the reroll also adds to your heart rate, because do-overs hurt, sucker. You start at resting heart rate. 
After a few rolls, your heart rate rises to the target heart rate, which is pretty awesome. When you're in target heart rate, you can roll any number of attribute dice when making a force or instinct roll. Any number of dice. Oh, the dice! Keep in mind, whatever you roll, it's added to your heart rate. You'll quickly blow past target heart rate and approach maximum heart rate. And that part's pretty scary because you can risk your agent having a heart attack and dying in the real world. Oh, you can also boost your roll if you have weapons or equipment suitable for the task at hand. That's why access can be pretty awesome. Equipment will give you a plus one bonus to instinct and force rolls, but it does not add to heart rate. One more thing, commendation points. When your agent is in their target heart rate, any time a six is rolled on a single die, including talent rolls, you gain a commendation point. Sometimes you'll need those to activate techniques. You can spend them one for one to gain a plus one in access rolls. You can also save them up. Kind of squirrel them away, even though I hate squirrels. After a mission, if you've earned ten of those commendation points, you can choose a new bonus talent. I've got lots of them. Commendation points earned during a mission are lost if the agent ejects from a mission before completing it successfully. Also, you'll earn a baleful gaze from me. What about commendation points earned when your agent dies on the mission? Oh, the agent does keep the commendation points. However, they're still dead, so you can't play them anymore. Ah, That's really all you need to know to get going with Lacuna Part 1. Just think noir action, weird dreamscapes, and dramatic music, and you'll have it just right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Indie Plus for more great videos. Bye.